Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our science grade 6 lesson, quarter 1, module 2, lesson 4, separating mixtures using magnet. But before anything else, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified if meron akong bagong videos na i-upload sa YouTube channel ko. anything else we would like to give credits to the management team of the module particularly to the department of education headed of course by the secretary madame lenor magtolis briones also to the under secretary sir Jasdado m san antonio to the authors mam Ma nancy c n torres mam Ma judy c villanueva mam Ma jamaica b barsenal and sir julie mar d lestimoso to the editor reviewers illustrators layout artists graphic artist management team thank you so much for making this module so that everybody every learners in the entire philippines can learn the subject so after going through this module ay malalaman natin at ma-describe natin yung iba't ibang techniques in separating mixtures gamit ang magnet at alam ko na alam niyo kung ano yung magnet na yan at paano yan gamitin. So, pagkatapos natin pag-aralan ang leksyon na ito, ay nag -e expect kami or nag -e expect yung teachers na marunong na kayong mag-describe ng different techniques on how to separate mixtures using magnet. And also, we are going to apply the technique in our everyday life. But before natin pag-aralan kung paano natin gamitin yung magnet sa ating leksyon ngayon, you have first to answer the following questions. You have to choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, iron fillings in sawdust can be separated by means of. So nakikita ninyo yung mga maliliit na mga nails na, na nahalo sa mga dust. Paano natin daw i-separate yun? A. Decantation B. Magnetic separation C. Filtration D. Sifting Number 2. How will you separate mixture of metal and non-metal objects? So, merong metal at merong mga non-metal objects na naghalo. Paano natin ito ese separate A. By decantation B. By winnowing C. By using a magnet or D. By filtration Number three, what method of separating mixtures is being illustrated below? So may nakita kayong picture dyan. Ano daw yung method na pag-separate ng mixture ang pinapakita sa picture na yan? A. Magnetic separation B. Distillation C. Filtration D. Decantation Number four, which of the following objects can be separated by using magnet? Okay, ngayon, alin daw sa mga sumusunod na object ang pwede nating ma-separate gamit ang magnet? A. Chalk powder B. Paper C. Rubber D. Coins Number five, the following mixtures of minerals can be separated by a magnet except. So yung mga sumusunod ay pwede nating ma-separate gamit ang magnet except sa A. Flour and paper clips. B. Water and flour. C. Pins in sand. D. Talc powder and needle. Put a check if the mixtures can be separated by a magnet and X if not. So ilalagay ninyo ang check kung ang mixture na pag-uusapan natin ay pwede siyang ma-separate gamit ang magnet at X naman kung hindi siya pwedeng ma-separate gamit ang magnet. Number 6, oil and water. Number 7, flour and pins. Number 8, staple wire and tissue paper. Number 9, thumbtacks and bits of paper. Number 10, talc powder and bond paper. Again, isulat ninyo ang check kung pwede nating mapaghiwalay ang dalawang object na yan gamit ang magnet. At isulat nyo naman ang X kung hindi natin pwedeng mapaghiwalay ang dalawang object na yan gamit ang magnet. 
Now, let's proceed to the lesson 4 of our module 2 in the science grade 6 entitled, Separating Mixtures Using Magnet. So, paano ba natin isa-separate yung mga mixtures na ginagamitan natin ng magnet? Ngayon, na-experience nyo na ba na yung mga pins ninyo ay nahalo sa inyong talc powder? Ano kayang teknik ang ginamit ninyo para mapaghiwalay ninyo yung mga pin na nahalo sa talc powder? Nasubukan nyo ba na gumamit ng magnet para ma-separate sila? Yes, kung nasubukan nyo siya, magnet separation is one of the ways to separate mixtures of metals from non-metals. So, ang pag-uusapan natin dito ay tungkol sa magnet. Paano ba ang magnet nagse-separate sa dalawang sa mixture? So, magse-separate lamang ang mixture kung ang dalawa na pinaghalo ay metal at non-metal. Again, gagamit tayo ng magnet kung ang ating isa-separate ay isang metal at isang non-metal. So, I have a new activity that you will be answering under what's in sa inyong mga module. What separation technique is used in the illustration below? Write your answers on your science journal. So, may nakita kayong picture dyan. Ano kaya ang separation technique na ginamit dyan? A. Decantation or distillation. So, piliin ninyo ang sagot at isulat ninyo sa inyong mga papel. How about sa picture na ito? Paano natin na-separate yung mixture? Is it through sieving or through evaporation? For what's new, you have to answer the following questions. Write your answer in your science journal. Number one, what do you usually do when a needle in your house is mixed with other non-metal materials? E example, ang inyong mga needle sa bahay ay nahalo bigla sa mga non-metal na materials. Ano ang kadalasang ginagawa ninyo? Number two, have you tried using a magnet to find it? Gumamit ba kayo ng magnet para mahanap yung needle na nahalo sa mga non-metal materials? Number three, how a magnet can be used to separate mixtures? Paano natin ginagamit yung magnet para makaseparate tayo ng mixtures? Answer, what is it? Ano ba yung pag-separate ng mixture gamit ang magnet? Components of mixtures can be separated in many ways. So, ito na yung natalakay natin sa iba nating mga videos na na-upload na. Yung mga components ng mixtures ay pwede nating ma-separate sa maraming paraan. Natalakay na natin yung iba't ibang paraan. The method that is being used usually depends on the type of mixture. So, yung method na gagamitin natin sa pag-separate ng mga mixture na yon ay nagde-depende kung ano yung type ng mixture na kailangan natin separate Metal and non-metal objects can be separated by using a magnet. So, ngayon, nahalo ang mga metal at yung mga non-metal na objects. Kayon, paano ba natin sila isi-separate? So, pag-separate natin sa metal at non-metal ay gagamit tayo ng tinatawag na magnet. There is no chemical reaction involved in the separation of components. Pag gumamit tayo ng magnet para ma-separate yung mga mixture na mga component ng mixture na yon, ay walang chemical reaction. Ibig sabihin, hindi na kailangan pang gumamit ng mga anong chemical para ma-separate. Diretso mo nang ilalagay ang magnet at yung mga metal ay kakapit sa magnet samantalang yung mga non-metal ay hindi kakapit sa magnet. Metals which are made up of alloy, nickel, or cobalt are easily attracted to the magnet. So ito yung mga naa-attract sa magnet, yung mga alloy, yung mga nickel, or yung mga cobalt. While non-metals are not. Yung mga non-metals ay hindi naa-attract sa magnet. Paano natin malaman na naa-attract sa magnet? Yung kakapit kaagad sa magnet. Yun yung mga metal. At yung mga non-metal, yung mga hindi naa-attract or hindi kumakapit sa magnet. Iron fillings, thumbtacks, staple wire, pins, 
Coins and needle are some example of objects that are attracted to the magnet. Yung mga pinangalana nating mga object, sila yung kakapit sa magnet. Kaya sila yung mga metal. When they mix with non-metals, this could be separated by magnets. Pag nahalo natin sila sa mga non-metal example, ang coin mo ay nahalo mo sa isang kilong arena. So, gamitan mo lang ng magnet, automatically, masi-separate mo na si coin kasi maa-attract siya. Under what's more in your module, ay merong activity dyan. You have to choose from the word in the box, the mixtures that can be separated by a magnet. So, magpili kayo dyan or piliin ninyo dyan sa mga words na nasa box kung alin ba dyan ang masi-separate natin sa magnet at isulat ninyo ang inyong sagot sa inyong science journal or sa papel. Acetone and water, grains and husks, thumbtacks and paper, coins and grains, staple wire and paper, iron filling and sulfur powder, pins and buttons, soap and shampoo. So, what I have learned. So, ngayon, i-gauge ko na kung may natutunan kayo sa leksyon na ating napag-aralan. You have to complete the statement below by choosing the correct answers from the given choices in the box. So, yung mga nasa loob ng box, sila yung choices, sila yung mga answer. At ilalagay ninyo sila sa proper na lalagyan. I learned that blank is a technique used to separate blank from blank. Metals are attracted to the blank, while nine metals are not at, are not attracted. Mixture of blank and talc powder can be separated by magnetism. Answer. Now, under what I can do in your module, you have to answer the questions below and you have to write your answers in your notebook or in your science journal. So, my picture dyan na magnet, my iron fillings, at my top powder. Kung nakita ninyo yung mga iron fillings, sila yung mga metal na naa-attract sa magnet. Samantala yung mga top powder ay hindi na-attract sa magnet kasi sila yung non-metal. Based from the given illustration, what are the different components of the mixtures? Ano yung dalawang component ng mixture na pinaghiwalay natin? Number two, how do the components of the mixtures of talc powder and iron fillings be separated? Paano natin sila sineparate? Number three, site-specific situation that you experience at home or in school where magnet used to separate mixtures. So magbigay kayo ng mga sitwasyon na inyong na-experience sa inyong bahay at sa inyong paaralan na gumamit kayo ng magnet para ma-separate yung iba't ibang mixtures. You have to choose the letter of the best answer. Number one, metal and non-metal objects can be separated using A. Paano doon natin ma-separate yung metal at non-metal object? A. Filter. B. Magnet. C. Sheave. D. Water. Number two, how will you separate mixture of metal and non-metal object? Paano natin isi-separate yung metal at non-metal objects? A. By decantation. B. By winnowing. C. By using a magnet. Or D. By evaporation. Number three, needle and sawdust can be separated by means of. Yung needle daw ay nahalo bigla sa mga dust na, na yung tinatawag natin na uh, remains ng mga gumamit ng chain so yung mga maliliit na mga parts ng kahoy na maliliit that is sawdust so paano natin separate kung nahulog ang needle doon A. by decantation B. by magnetic separation C. by filtration or D. by sifting Number four How will you separate mixture of staple wire and chalk powder? Okay, nahalo bigla yung wire ng stapler at ng powder ng chalk. Paano natin sila masiseparate? A, by decantation. B, by winnowing. C, by using a magnet. D, by evaporation. Number five. Mrs. Cruz's needle was mixed with bits of paper. How will she separate the needle safely from the bits of paper? A, by decantation. B, by winnowing. C, by using a magnet. D, by evaporation. Number six, how will you use separate paper clips and thumbtacks from flour? Okay, nahalo bigla yung paper clips at saka thumbtacks sa ating arena, sa flour. Paano natin sila ma-separate? A, by using a magnet. B, by using a sheaf. C, by using a filter paper. D, by using a filter paper again. 
Number seven, which of the following best describes a magnet when used to separate mixtures? So paano daw natin mas describe ang magnet na ginagam pag separate ng mixture? A, it can separate metals from non-metals. B, it can separate non-metals object. C, it can separate larger particles. D, it can separate smaller particles. Number eight, blank when mixed with non-metals could be separated by magnet. So, ang blank daw, pag nahalo natin sa mga non-metal, pwede natin ma-separate through magnet. A, rubber. B, plastic. C, water. D, metals. For number nine, metals which are made up of blank are easily attracted to the magnet. Alin daw dyan ang naa-attract gamit ang magnet? A. Alloy, nickel, or cobalt. B. Paint, water, and powder. C. Salt, rubber, and plastic. D. Gold, ruby, and diamond. Number 10. There is no blank involved in the separation of components in magnetism. A. Physical reaction. B. Mechanical reaction. C. Chemical reaction. D. Acid reaction. And for your additional activities, you have to think of at least three activities in the community where magnetic separation is applicable. Write a short paragraph describing those activities. You may use your illustration or pictures to further explain your answer. Do it in your science journal. Thank you so much. Isa na namang araw ang ating natapos sa pagtuturo ng module na grade 6. Abangan nyo ang sunod na mga videos. This has been your master teacher, Alan Madino, and I'm saying goodbye and God bless us all.